All right. Hey, girls. We are back with another episode. I'm so excited. I have a new guest. I have another Kim. We have, <laughs> this is our second Kim, but we have another Kim. You are in London. Yes, yes. Our yes. other Kim was in Germany. Oh, nice. Okay. So, how have you been? How's Germany over there? I mean, how's London? Um, it's good. It's been kind of gray, actually. We haven't had much of a summer this year, so it's not great, okay. but it's okay. It's um quiet, I guess. Mm -hmm. I've only been here for like 40 minutes and then I left because oh, I didn't wow. realize how close uh, Paris and London was. Like mm -hmm. all you had to do was take the train and I'm like looking at the time and I'm like, can I make it before my flight? So mm -hmm. yeah, I like totally took the train. Someone told me to go grab food, like run to like a cafe and get like a bagel and some soup, some type of soup, like the bread with soup. And I ran back on the train, but yeah, I was only there for like a little bit. I didn't realize geographically like how close. Yeah, yeah. What did you, you think could just hop on a train? Your time your forty minutes. I liked it. I liked the people, like how the you, how it was the at the little alley. Mm -hmm. I thought it was cool. I thought it was very different. Um, when I was like waiting for my food to be prepared, I noticed how fresh the food <laughs> is. Yeah. Compared to yikes, America, but yeah. Where else <laughs> in America are you again? I'm in New Jersey, right by New York okay. City. Nice, nice. Oh, so it's not that far from England. Nope. Okay. Are you planning to come back anytime? I want to. I've been, um, I want to come near, I want to go visit the Eiffel Tower for New Year's Eve. Oh, and wow. then I actually want to go to London. I want to put mm -hmm. like time aside to go to London since I only spent like a couple of minutes. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot to see. There's really a lot of like tourist attractions and stuff. So it's quite nice. So yes, I, I want to, I want to go. Um, Are you planning to yeah. New Year's Eve? In Paris? Or yes. Like, oh, wow. wow. This one, okay. yes. I would like to go because uh, I'm like, man, I've been cooped up in the house. Mm -hmm. This book is, the logistics is so much. Writing is like one thing, but like the logistics of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Is it out now? It is for pre-sale. It's for pre-sale. Um, okay. But it, the official date is October 3rd. Like, everything that's okay. in the Library of Congress, like, all of that is done. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it's it's over available for pre-order. But it's okay. it's been a long ride. Yeah. But it's, like, the final push now. So, after October, is it easier? Um, for, for now, it's just marketing and promoting. Okay. Yeah, it's just marketing, promoting, pitching, and stuff like that. But just trying to figure out, like, the warehouse, because mm -hmm. I'm not going through Amazon. Amazon takes mm -hmm. so much money out really? of your work. Yes. Everyone pushes, like, oh, I made such and such amount of sales on Amazon, mm -hmm. but they take, like, 60%, 70%. That's crazy, considering it's, like, your work. Yeah, because they consider the packaging, packaging your product, shipping mm -hmm. it, for, uh, printing it. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of pages. I have over 250 pages. So, I mean, maybe wow. someone who has, like, a smaller book. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for me, like, you know, this is, like, an extensive book. Uh, so and it's, like, my papyrus. Where, where is it? I am using, I had a scout. That's why I said it's been a long journey. But mm -hmm. um, I had to, I looked for a, a print production and fulfillment so mm -hmm. um they're my third party and they yeah. print my book and every week they give me like a report on who how many was sold oh, how yeah, many was printed yeah. and stuff like that and yeah. i pay like a monthly fee of them shelving my product that's what you call it like uh -huh. your product takes up um, a certain amount of shelves in their oh, so warehouse already printed correct so is it just you marketing by yourself? Like, are you marketing with no. social media and stuff? Or? I have, yeah, I'll be on social media. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's kind of exciting. <sighs> it's a lot. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> it's a lot, but we've made it. Yeah, yeah, made it. that's cool. So the book is totally finished now? Finished now. Yeah, it's totally done. It's been done. Nice. It's been done. Everything is done. Everything Now it's just pretty much marketing. Okay, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. Yes. 
So I wanted to get into one of these tests and you gave me a new test. I took it. Yes. I yes, took it. Yes. Don't say what your results are yet. Okay, I wanted okay. I looked at some of the um the questions. I wanted to dive into some of the questions. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. What your responses were. Okay, okay. So when you work under pressure, mm-hmm. are you calm? Are you nervous? Like what kind of woman are you? So that's an interesting one because I think in general, I'm kind of a nervous person and I worry about things a lot. But when things get really stressful, I get into this kind of Zen state and I can focus and I can work really hard. So I don't really know. I think I work well under pressure, actually. Um, I don't know. It depends. I think I work it's I, th- I think I work good in both si- situations okay, okay. but um when it's I want to say when it's like near and dear to like my heart like a personal project mm-hmm. or I have like the envision um I probably work better like under pressure oh really yeah because if I have too much time I'm going to nitpick I'm very detail oriented okay, it's okay. pretty annoying at yeah. times Okay, so it's better if you have like a strict deadline and you have to finish. Yes. Okay. Yes, because I will be like, oh, no, let me just change this color a little bit. Yeah. Let me just tweak this over here just a little bit. And you're just mm-hmm. like, well, I don't see the difference. And I'm like, no. Yeah. Well, it's, if it's yours and it's personal, it makes sense because you want it to represent exactly what you're trying to Yes. Do. So yeah, I don't know. I think I'm a little bit of both, but if it's like a per, a personal project or near and dear, I'm pro- yeah, I'm gonna be. It, it needs to be pressure so I can get straight to it because I will just mm-hmm. nitpick things apart, and you'll yeah. be like, I never realized that. Yeah. I'm like, I know that. <laughs> Let me do. It. Other people, other people. Because do you look at other people and think like, oh, they're not like they haven't thought about this, they haven't thought about that, like their work and stuff, or just about yourself? Um, you mean as far as like what kind of we uh, what are you referring to? I mean, like if you see someone else produced a book, for example, and you see the cover of the book, will you think, oh, I would have done this differently, or I would have done that differently, or do you only think like that when it's about your own work? It's more so about my work. I look at other people's stuff as like an example, like, oh, I like this. Let me let me see if this will benefit for me. Yeah. But as far as like comparing, no, it's just when I have like, I could just think of something and I could just paint it visually in my head. Yeah. And then I want to like dump it in reality. Yeah. But as far as like comparing or looking at other people, no. My my mind is off. I'm not like a nutcase, but yeah. if I just have something vivid in my mind, it's like, all right, let's put it to work. Yeah, that's cool. That's really nice. So yeah, I'm pretty annoying in that aspect. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's good because it's like you're sure of yourself, kind of like you know exactly what you want. I'm kind of the opposite in that I'm always asking for other people's opinions. I'm like, oh, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Because I'm not sure of what I want to portray sometimes. Where do you think that like stems from? Oh my God, that's a deep question. Um, I don't know, I really don't know. Maybe just wanting approval from other people and making sure that I feel like my opinion is shared by other people as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I feel like other people's opinions would drive me insane or lead me to unhappiness because I'm the one that's going to be living with like the end result. Yeah, that's true. It's very true. And I think that's something that personally I've got better at as I've got older. It's still there. Definitely. I still care what other people think, but I care so much less than like 10 years ago, five years ago even. So it's nice that it's kind of fading. fading. Eases. Okay. Mm. All right. What was another question? I was, um, the group activities. Do you prefer to work alone or with a group? Which which one do you prefer? I know there was like a couple. I'm looking at it. Do you like participating in group and do or do you prefer to work alone or in groups? I prefer to work alone. Always. <laughs> I'm gonna say eighty percent of the time. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, why? Why? Uh, 
There's so many ways. Um, when I, I know I'm a nutcase. When I am just in my element, I just know how my mood is going to be, how fast, how efficient I'm going to be. Um, and I'm just like in a momentum. Whereas if I'm like in a group, you may have someone at a different level yeah. or they're in a different space of like the business. Mm -hmm. I just feel like I kind of just have to start, then stop, start, then stop, start, yeah. then stop. Yeah. And then I just get like uninspired. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm in a creative space. So start stopping, start stopping. It gets kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, but most of the time and then personally, yeah, I don't know. I just I like going out by myself because I just don't. Yeah, I know what to expect with myself versus a group of women. Oh, God, you don't know what's going to come. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you don't know who's going to mess up the mood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've had my fair share in my 20s. I'm just like, I'm cool. I'm cool with me by myself or yeah. a friend or two. And then, yeah, just keep it simple. Yeah. I probably agree. I would say I sway more to working on my own because mm -hmm. I work like a tutor online. So I teach people one-on-one -on -one and it's totally like my decision, what I teach, right. what I'm talking about that day. Um, because I think I don't like listening to other people sometimes when they're like, I don't like having a boss. <laughs> um so that's part of it. But then I do like the social aspect. So it depends what kind of job it is, I guess. And right. the people that you're working with, that can make a huge difference. So if you are with people who you're on the same wavelength with and you think not similarly exactly, but you, you have the same motivation and stuff like that, it can be really productive. Um, but generally, I would definitely prefer to work on my own. Yeah, so we we're we're the same. Yeah, I thought I'm like I thought I was crazy. No, no. Yeah, I just I don't know group activities. Even in school and university, I'm like, mm -hmm. oh god, we got a group project. Mm -hmm. Three of them this semester. Yeah. I would always cringe because yeah, it's yeah. just it's just torture for me. And then you got to find time to to coordinate your schedules, mm -hmm. and I hate it. Yeah. Do you um. Do you consider yourself to be quite an independent person in general then? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. There was someone who um, I was looking for grants for the book. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to use that as an example uh, because it's a lot of money if you're mm -hmm. doing this by yourself. Yeah. So there are grants and there are like women business centers that will help you, you know, restructure your business plan. And I know the section where I'm not the strongest is like the financial projections and mm -hmm. all this other stuff. Yeah. So they were taking forever <laughs> to, um, yeah, to help me. It was like, it was like going on three months and I had everything else done, like all the other written part, my startup fees were already there and all the other stuff, but they were just taking forever. So I went about myself and paid a, um, my accountant who does the projections. I paid her to do it mm -hmm. because I had a deadline to meet with this daggone grant. Cause I, I was tired of paying for things and I'm like, I'm going to get this grant. Yeah. So yeah, I, if you are interrupting what I'm trying to do, I'm going to go about myself every way I can to go get yeah. what I want to go get. That's nice though, because you're like really driven. You have this goal. Yes. Like, really, really matter what. That's really, I don't know. Yeah, I was tired of spending so much money. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, well, that's, that's a good motivation. Yeah. Jeez. I was like, oh, let me get this grant. But yeah, I I mean, the the business center have been helpful, but they were just kind of like dragging. And I'm just like, okay, mm -hmm. like what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But it's done now, so it's fine. it's fine. Yes, it is done. That I've got the grant. Thank God, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, yeah. What was another one? There was a weird question. You enjoy watching people argue. I thought that question was very <laughs> weird. It was like the. Th it was like forty percent in. I'm looking at it right now. Okay. 
yeah, you enjoy watching people argue. I'm like, this is a very off-putting question. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't like watching people argue. I don't even like listening to indulging in like people's relationship because I don't want to be involved. I don't know what you guys got going on. Um, I thought that question was weird, but I said no. I put disagree all the way. Yeah, I don't. It makes me really uncomfortable. Um, I know that I'm like a really empathetic person as well. So if I watch something like that, I'll start to feel like I'm in it. And I don't want to put myself in that position. So definitely no for me as well. Yeah, sometimes some people will like, try to like drag you in it like they'll like be in the middle of the argument and then they'll like make eye contact with someone yeah. i'm like oh no i'm not here yeah 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 or like oh, some well, people she knows what i'm talking about or something i'm like, no i don't <laughs> yes yeah, some people do that and they don't even know you and i'm just like what is going on here yeah. so yeah no no it's not for me i'm so su- i would be surprised if anyone said yes to be honest unless it's like they find it entertaining or something. But for me, it's too emotional. I don't want to be near that, like, bad negative emotion. Well, some people people watch. I people watch. But I don't, like, get into people's... Yeah, I don't listen to people's conversations. I look at, like, people's mannerisms and stuff like that. I don't know, I'm just weird. Yeah, no, I like that as well. I like watching people do, like, really normal things, like sitting on a bench and like reading a paper or something like that I find it interesting to see when people are just being themselves yes Mm -hmm. I think think it's very interesting I also watch like the homeless people in New York they Mm -hmm. how they like wrap their scarf sometimes or they'll get like a blanket it's like really like they're just trying to be covered they're just trying to keep warm but I'm like that's a clever way I want to I, I don't know I just find like little things and kind of just sprinkle it into yeah creative I don't know I'm just crazy like that no but I think I guess what they're doing they're doing for like very practical reasons mm-hmm. but then you can use that to to like inspire you to do something too I think it's a yes good idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, people watching is like a fun thing. Also, if you just sit at a restaurant and you kind of just see certain people interactions, mm-hmm. see so who's not interested, who's not, because their feet yeah. is pointed one way or mm-hmm. another, mm-hmm. or their hand gestures. It's very. I'm like, oh, that meeting went bad because his because <laughs> his he's just leaned back, yeah, not even yeah. looking. Yeah, I could yeah. just tell. It's just very interesting. I do that. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I used to play a game sometimes. Like, in my mind, I would watch people and be like, I wonder how long they've known each other. I wonder what their relationship is to each other based on the way that they're interacting. Um, Because it is interesting, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. You could tell if um, some people are on their first date, especially Mm -hmm. especially now. Mm Because a lot of the young folks are on the phone. Oh, really? On the date? Oh, God. It's, it must be totally different in London. Oh, yes. No, it's just because I'm not in that scene, I think. I don't okay. see it. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people are, like, on the phone a lot. They check their phones or they're, like, they're texting from across each other. I've, it's it's pretty insane. Oh, my God. I don't want to. I'm glad that I'm the age I am and I'm not interested in that because that would drive me crazy. Yeah, I've walked out on a date from that. Like, I, yeah, I asked one time and I'm like, is that an emergency? He's Mm -hmm. like, no. And I'm just like, okay, well, you're interrupting my time. Like, I could be checking my phone as well. Um, He did it again. And yeah, check, please. I I told you, I told you once, I gave you a courtesy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what those others are doing, but yeah, I've walked out. I've walked out. So, you know, I don't tolerate it you're not interesting enough for me to give you my full attention and i feel like that's so rude right she's like i'm checking for an email for a bit i'm like okay your business is work is always going to be there i got work too well i guess if at least if it's on the first date you know immediately that you're not going to be getting the attention that you need and that you deserve so it's better to know yeah i walk out later on later on yeah, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, you definitely can just watch the interactions. It's very fun. I mm-hmm. went to a function on Thursday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
And you could just tell the husband was just so exhausted and the kid was just like running all over him on the table. It was just hilarious. And the wife was like so happy. I feel like she was happy to get out the house because the the child was, uh, there were twins. They were little. And they were just jumping all around with energy. I'm like, they must be don't get out. Because yeah. you could just tell the unbalance. She's happy to get out. He looks exhausted. And the kids are like, yeah, catch up. And I'm like, oh, man. Oh, I kind of feel sorry for them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yikes. Kids must be something else. I know. I love twins. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna. If I were to have twins, I would be super annoying. I would. Do you really? know what they're? Do you know what the others saying? Do you know what the others about to say? I'm gonna be <laughs> stupid like that. <laughs> would you dress them in like? like- no. Okay, okay. No. 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 I hate dressing alike. No. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> no. No. I want them. I would want them to have their own identity. They look alike. I mean, she's Louise, but you know, I would not. I probably s- similar colors, but you know, it's the same. Yeah, yeah. Yikes! Yeah, it's like oh, you're half of one person. Yeah, I think it. Um, I think it probably has an impact because I've only known one set of twins. I went to school with a set of girl twins, and I think when they were younger, they were dressed the same all the time, and as they grew up they were totally opposite and I always wondered like did they do that on purpose because they wanted to break away from that idea of just being a twin and being their own person probably Mm. I don't know yeah that's why I always thought I'm like yeah I would definitely have them be like their own Mm -hmm. individual person have their own have their own quality time from Mm -hmm. a part of each other I would do I would do that personally yeah yeah I think it's important Um, yeah but man yeah those twins I was like man (laughs) (laughs) I I don't know I have no kids I just Mm -hmm. watch from afar from my friends and here you go they're yours (laughs) well that's it because I um I actually work as a nanny as well Mm -hmm. um and I the family I work for I've looked after the kids since they were one and two. So they're very close in age. Mm -hmm. And now they're like 12 and 13. And when they were young, it was very hard because they were so close in age. It was like they both demanded attention all the time. Right. And it's like, it was nice and it was fun, but I was so tired after spending the day with them. I was like, thank goodness I can go home at the end of this. Like I can go home and just have some me time. Right. I see why, um, like, some people have so many nannies, like, Mm -hmm. around the clock to help, especially if they're, like, away from family. Oh, yeah, definitely. If you don't have, like, that external support, it must be a lot harder. Wow. Yeah, I don't have any kids. I'm just Mm -hmm. afar. (laughs) I'll take them for a couple of hours, and then I'm like, all right, here they are. Are you like the cool aunt that they get to go and, like, play and stuff? Yes. Mm -hmm. Go roll around. Get your clothes dirty. Let's have some fun. (laughs) At least they sleep well by the time I give them back. That's true. true. I'm like, see, they're out out your hair, okay, because we had some some fun yeah that's it so the parents are probably grateful too because they get their alone time and then when the kids come back they're also tired so then yes yes i have to watch like what they're eating which which is very annoying (laughs) how what do you like you're how do you do this and i'm like i know these people and i'm just like this what the heck is this yeah it can be difficult especially if they're like um well actually what age do you mean like what age are the kids um, the last set of kids, one is ele- 11 and 8. Okay. And then um, another one was 6. They were starting first grade. Mm, okay. Yeah, it's difficult. I think with the ones I looked after, one of them in particular, the most difficult thing with food was that he was very fussy and he wouldn't really eat anything. Like everything had to be 
perfect in this way like cut in this way and stuff like that so that was quite difficult but he's a lot better now so I think maybe going to school and stuff and having like school lunches helped him ah yeah I didn't I'm like what is what is this stuff I don't Mm. don't tell your mom I gave you this okay (laughs) (laughs) just just don't say anything I don't know what this stuff is I'm sorry if you gotta go boo boo let's we'll go to the toilet and I'll fix it yikes me being a parent is gonna be interesting yeah you you learn on the job it's fine (laughs) yeah Yikes! I'm glad I'm the, I'm the youngest. Oh really? Oh, really? Yes. Mm. Do you have um many siblings? I have one older sister. Oh okay, okay. Yeah, she does not have any kids. I don't think she wants any. Mm, that's fair. Yeah. So, what was another? Oh, you avoid making phone calls. Do you like? Are you a texter? Or are you? Do you make phone calls? Um, I'll do both. It again, it depends on the situation. Um, if it's something I don't really want to have a conversation about, I'll text. But if it's like a friend or something that I'm like looking forward to and like pursuing, then I'll call. Um, what about you? I prefer making phone calls. Mm, I hate really? texting. Mm, yeah, okay. I really hate texting. Yeah, I still have yeah. text messages from like 2020. Like it's it's yeah yeah. Yeah, I keep texts very minimal. Like, hey, I'm running late or yeah. I'm in a party, um, can't talk. Yeah, I just, yeah. it's just a lot. People write like paragraphs mm-hmm. and I'm like, I'm not reading this. Like, yeah, we'll yeah. talk later. <laughs> I'd rather just make a phone call. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know if it's like my age, but I feel like the younger generations way prefer texting. Like, they don't like to call at all. It's really weird. Like, the girl I look after, for example, she's 13. She's constantly texting her friends all the time. And I'm like, why don't you just call them? Like, you've been texting for an hour. You could have said this. Yeah. They try to avoid conflict. Um, They don't really want to face reality. Yeah, it's strange. It's strange. Maybe they'll change as they get older. I don't know. I don't know. This technology is like they're they're it's like glued to their hands. Mm, yeah, it's like a part of them now. Yeah, I don't know. This is mm. gonna be very interesting, but yikes. Yeah, yeah. So what was your end result? Um, my end result was What was your uh yeah, what what did you have? I got INFP, which is mediator. I am a logistician. Oh, logit. What does it mean? Let me open my thing up. Do I have my email open? I'll see mine too. This means that you are a very reliable personality type, often priding themselves on in deriving their self-respect from their practicality and integrity. But their strong work ethic and sense of duty means they too often find themselves shouldering responsibilities that should rightfully fall onto others. Oh. So that's like you work too hard. Yeah. Do you feel like it's accurate? Yes. I mean, a lot of the questions they ask, I'm like, um, no, not, I'm sorry, not a lot of the questions. The traits, mm-hmm. I'm looking at the traits now. Mm-hmm. The inverted, introvert, I already knew I'm introverted, 49%. Mm-hmm. Um, observant, I already knew I'm observant, 57%. Mm-hmm. Thinking, I'm always thinking, even when it's like me time, I'm always mm-hmm. thinking. That's 43%. Judging, is 79 percent and then assertive I, I already knew i was assertive that's 81 percent. so what what are your letters again your four letters oh istj dash a istj we're almost totally opposite apart from the first one i got the opposite answer for each one yes mm, okay, okay so that is me Mm -hmm. i am yeah i'm just a loner um Mm -hmm. 
I know I took like little snapshots of my assertiveness. He assertive, refuse to worry too much and tend to be self confident when striving to achieve goals. I already know that. Judging, judging individuals are um, thorough and highly organized. Yeah, I'm pretty annoying when it comes to organization. They value clarity, predict, uh, predict, predictability, and closure. Mm-hmm. Preferring structure and planning to spontane- spontaneity. Yeah, okay. that's pretty true. Really? Are you super organized? I'm organized because I need like a foundation. Mm-hmm. If I don't, if everything is like a blur, I'm just like, I don't know where to start. Like I need some type of foundation for me to start building on to mm-hmm. whatever, whatever comes my way. It's like I need like a solid, like, um, like a ground like if you're building a house like you need a solid floor and then you work your way from whichever way you want mm-hmm. but yeah I'm organized I need yeah, some type yeah. of structure mm. so yes because someone's like really hey can you <laughs> someone says hey can you do this and I'm just like but what like what's the reference point like and they're just like I don't know and I'm just like well I can't really work off of what you want because you're not giving me a starting point so i yeah for me it's just i need like a solid like foundation for me so how do you stay organized because like i could really do with some tips on like how to manage my time and things like that because i'm not very good at it I write to-do list every single day. I write it right before I go to bed. I write like mm-hmm. five things I mm-hmm. want to get completed for the next day. Mm-hmm. Um, I always have a calendar of what I'm doing every day. It doesn't matter if I'm recording, if I'm in a meeting, mm-hmm. if it's date night for myself. I have my calendar is color coordinated because I respond better to colors. Yeah. Yeah. So um, anything in green that's that's f- for like my personal pink is for my styling business. Like it's very color coordinated and I have mm-hmm. like different shades of whatever color. Um, as far as like my closet, mm-hmm. man, I have that. That's like a whole chapter in my book. Really? But um, yeah, I'm like very organized. Um, how I stay organized with that? I know my calendar activities, mm-hmm. so I base it around my lifestyle. So since my wardrobe needs to be comfortable yet fashion forward, mm-hmm. I have it like grouped in different sections. So. One group will be button up shirts with the collars. Mm -hmm. Another group will be, um, you know, just regular like t-shirt or um, um, fitted form fitting shirts. Mm -hmm. Another one will be um, like blazers with the collar. So it's like set up in like sections. I think you would cry if you saw my closet. It's just <laughs> you probably have a hard time uh, finding stuff to wear too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, time. yeah, time. yeah. There's a whole there's a whole chapter in the book with that. Yeah, but um, yeah, you just gotta like I said, you gotta have you gotta have like some type of foundation to like yeah, work yeah. off of to kind of just make your move i'm not saying i gotta have like everything to the t but Mm -hmm. just having a foundation and then if something comes like oh hey i'm having like a kickback Mm -hmm. because i'm celebrating you know i got a raise i mean at least i could just go in my closet grab this grab that and then i'm out the door it's wow. still spon- that's a spontaneous but i have my foundation already laid out yeah so you already know like which section to go to mm-hmm that sounds so nice oh yeah <laughs> so yes that is that is me i've lived the spontaneous mm-hmm. life in my in my 20s and mm-hmm. boy <laughs> did i waste a lot of money yeah yeah that's true um, it's pretty um, crazy what did it say on yours in the friendship section did it say about like what kinds of people you get on with better and things like that I don't remember. Um, let me see if I can. Find I don't remember seeing it. 
There is a section. Because that would be helpful if I know when I like talk with people for like at least 10 minutes, Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Mm, we're not going to gel. Really? Is that how? Yeah. Yeah. I'm around. I'm around different people Mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. Um, You could give me 10 minutes. Wow. I, I can tell. Has no one ever changed your mind? Um, with women, no. With males, yes. Okay. 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 Yes. Um, for me, I tend to give people the benefit of the doubt, maybe for too long. And I'll be like, oh, maybe, maybe we can be friends. Maybe it'll be okay. But then I end up wasting time sometimes. So I need like... See, you should have went with your gut. I know, I know. Well, that's what it said in my thing. You know, this like mediator personality type. It's like oh you you give too much to other people and then you don't set boundaries and it's a problem for me um i know i it's not so much i need to be around people who know what they want but um they just they're just very finicky or just unsure of certain things so if i say hey let's do like a girl's night let's pick a restaurant um and then you're like oh well i want to have sushi and then the last minute you're like well i don't i don't want to have sushi anymore i want to have something else and i'm just like all right so what is something else oh i don't know maybe like i don't know yeah that drives me insane really that drives me insane (laughs) that drives me insane yeah. yeah, that drives me insane. It's like, all right, you don't, you know, you don't want it. So what? What do you want? Like, you initiated <laughs> this. Come, what are you doing? But do you not think maybe they're just like waiting for you to say, "I want this," and then they'll go with what you say? A lot of the times, it's like they initiated the meetup. So mm-hmm. it's like, all right, the ball's in your court. Like, I'm, I'm going, I'm going for you. Like, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, that drives me insane. Yeah. I'm like, well, girl, figure it out. I, <laughs> you don't let me know by this time. I'm gonna go make some of the plans. Yeah, yeah. Sure, I could be sleeping in my bed. What's going on? <laughs> so if you if you're the one to initiate, you always choose. Like you decide everything and say like we're going here this time. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. So that's fair then, I guess. It's like you're expecting from them the same that you give to them. Yeah, that's why I, I just know for if I talk to someone that I have no, I just met, I kind of get a feel of like, yeah, we're not going to gel very well. Because, yeah, Cause, yeah the, the event on Thursday, I was talking with m- multiple women and there was just one. I was like, mm, this conversation is very lackluster. Yeah. And then I kept and then um, another woman came up to me. We were talking for a very long time. And then I tried to go back to her to give her a try. Uh-huh. It was just very it just the conversation just shifted. I mean, drifted. And I'm like, yeah, she. Yeah, no, we, we don't gel. I, I know it. Yeah, it was just very, yeah, it was just very lackluster. It's difficult. It's definitely difficult. But I think um, for me, I'm always able to like find something that I can connect with someone on. And so mm-hmm. I'll just run with it. Like I'll find that one thing and then I'll be like, oh, you're interested in that. Okay, let's talk about that. But she was not trying to do that she was just like yeah she was not doing that i was doing like a lot of the talking i'm asking her questions oh i'm from new york okay what what brought you here she was just giving me like very very like one one liners couple of lines i'm just like all right (laughs) yeah all right girl have fun all right welcome to new jersey So, yeah, I'm like, no. not the only one, like, putting in the effort to make the conversation keep going, I think. Right. Mm. So, oh, well. (laughs) Well, did you enjoy? Did you learn anything from me? (laughs) I I think so. I think um, the organization thing is the main thing that I need to, like, definitely work on. Because 
when you were describing having a closet when you can just pick what you want and go like you have no idea when I have to go somewhere I'm like pulling things out and by the end like when I finally decided what I'm gonna wear my bed is covered with clothes because it took me so long to decide (laughs) so I might give it a go (laughs) Yeah, that is pretty much predominantly all of my clients. They Mm -hmm. don't, yeah, they just want to roll out of bed, brush their teeth, put clothes on, and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's a a journey, especially if you have a huge closet. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but it sounds worth it. Yes, it's extensive. I go over like the your calendar activities. Like you have to do like the homework of like, all right, what is your like your typical week, uh, for three weeks, so I could kind of get an idea and strategize. But yeah, it's yeah, I'm I'm definitely an organizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty insane, yeah, but it's all right. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. <laughs> It's all right. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode with Kim from London. (laughs) Definitely like the video. Comment down below. And what type of girl are you? I'm going to leave a link so you guys can take the test. It's definitely carve out like 20 minutes and see what. Um, yeah, what type of woman you are. I, I'm going to look to see what type of people I'm compatible with. I totally missed it, but I was reading like the other traits, but I thought it was very interesting. I'm going to see if that, that girl is um, <laughs> that I was talking to. And I'm just like, yeah, she's not it. <laughs> but other than that, stay tuned for the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye.